This video is brought to you by Ageless Geeks. Kelabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Marvel Legends Red Hulk. Now, taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in a large scale window box packaging. Turning the box around, we can see a really cool image of the Red Hulk figure. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. And here is the Red Hulk out of the box. And man, I am so stoked to finally have my hands on this figure as I am a giant fan of the Red Hulk. He's actually my favorite Hulk there is, and he's just such a cool character, and this is the Marvel Legends I have been waiting for for oh so long, and I am super stoked to add him to my collection. So with this piece finally in hand, let's take a closer look at the Marvel Legends Red Hulk. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at the Marvel Legends Red Hulk. Now better late than never, I know this figure has been out quite some time already, but I finally got it in hand. Shout out to my buddy Gary for hooking me up with this Red Hulk. You know, he works at a Target and was cool enough to find this for me and hook me up. So I am so appreciative of him because I absolutely love the Red Hulk. This is my personal favorite Red Hulk. Uh, he's just such a cool character to me. I've actually drawn the Red Hulk like several times. He legit is one of my favorite characters to draw. So if you guys actually want to follow me on Instagram and check out more of my art, go ahead and hit me up there and you can see all kinds of cool stuff that I've been working on. But still, this piece is freaking incredible. I love how this turned out. Uh, the head sculpt itself looks really, really good. I really dig how they did that snarling face. I think that looks so super cool. Loving the eyes, that dark wash in there around the eyes really gives him that depth. I think it looks really cool. His more signature black hair, which looks really nice. But the snarling of that mouth with the mouth open, the teeth and all that looks really freaking cool, man. I love this a lot. But everything else about this looks so nice. It's very, very well done. There's a little bit of like a an orange airbrush on here across like you'll see on the shoulders, the biceps, the pecs and things like that. Just to give it a little bit of shading or shadowing or glowing because he does radiate this like toxic energy which gives him like almost like these fire like powers it's really really cool but all this looks awesome man the veining in his arms looks killer the hands and the knuckles look good even got that painted black nails looks really nice yeah dude i am digging this now this is the exact same buck we've seen before with things like the gray hulk and uh, the previous green hulks uh, but just done in the Red Hulk style, black pants, you got the shredded pants like that, tears. There's a little bit of a gray dry brushing on there too to make them look a little more worn and tattered. I love that dude, that massive back. I mean, that's insane, dude. Oh, uh, the texture on the jeans, the pants looks really, really cool too. I feel you can see a little more of that orange on there, the black nails. I love this, dude. This is so freaking awesome. I'm, I'm just being straight up with you right now. This is definitely my top 10 favorite Marvel Legends. That's probably because I just love the Red Hulk so much. He's definitely one of my favorite Marvel characters. So this is just freaking awesome. Okay, so we don't really get a lot of accessories. I kind of wish we had got some type of like flame effects or something like that or some radiation effects I think would have been really cool. Uh, but we do get interchangeable hands. So we do get two of these closed fisted hands, one for each side like so. And then we get two more of these like open palm hands with the fingers a little more curled in like that, uh, one for each side. Uh, they're a little tight. Uh, but you can't just pop them on and off like that. They're just on a standard peg. And they actually do hold in there nice and tightly. Uh, so you don't have to worry about them being too loose or falling or anything like that. So that's really the only accessories we do get. Uh, you have this piping that came with like the other like Grey Hulk and things like that. You can hold this in his hand like so if you want to do so. Um, it's a little tricky. 
but you can do it and you can grip them like that. So if you want to give them that, it does work out. Uh, note this is a different hand than what we've seen with something like the Great Hulk. Uh, the fingers are curled differently and whatnot, especially that pinky. They're a little more flared out, you know, like open like that. Uh, but still, that's all we really do get is those interchangeable hands, which is okay. Um, again, I wish we had gotten a little more, but I get it. You know, it's it's he's a big bulky figure, man. I mean, they could only give us so, so much. So with that, let's run down the articulation. So the head is on a ball joint, does roll around like so, does turn left and right, up and down like that, and pivot side to side. Arms can go full 360, up and out about that far. We do get a butterfly joint in there, but they mostly go back. Uh, they don't really go forward at all. So you can get kind of like that jumping pose like that where he comes up with the shoulders like so. But again, it's just doesn't go forward like I kind of wish it would. We got rotation at the bicep, we got a single bend at the elbow, rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge at the wrist. We get a double ball peg in the midsection so that rolls around, does turn left and right, pivot side to side and crunches back and forth. We also get a cut at the waist so it swivels like so. Hip joints they kick forward that far, back about that much, splits all the way out that far, rotation at the upper thigh. We got double double jointed knees and we got a ball joint that goes to the ankle up down rocks side to side and does rotate a tiny bit so that's really good so the articulation is actually pretty well done considering he's such a big and bulky figure but man i freaking love this thing dude i remember seeing that first uh, marvel legends red hulk that we got which was like a build a figure i'd always wanted that thing but it kind of just looked a little off to me we finally Fixed that and Hasbro gave us an incredible Red Hulk. No pun intended, honestly. <laughs> but still, this guy is so awesome. And if you can find him, he's totally worth it, man, because he is definitely a must get. So, for a quick size comparison, here he is sitting next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and NECA Batman figures. Also, for comparison, here he is sitting next to the Marvel Legends Grey Hulk. And for even more comparison, here he is standing next to the Thor Ragnarok Incredible Hulk from Mezco. And just for fun, here he is with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Marvel Legends Red Hulk. And man, I absolutely love this thing, and this is definitely going to be one of my all-time favorite Marvel Legends figures, as he's just so amazing. He's big, he's bulky, that red paint with a little bit of orange mixed in is so gorgeous. His face sculpt is perfect with that angry, snarling look, those deep-set yellow eyes. I mean, this is truly a badass figure. Even being so bulky, he has pretty good articulation, and I am so happy to add the Red Hulk to my collection. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.